Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and uh, of course, this has been a roller coaster of a week, uh, or the last two weeks for the uh, Great British Pound, the U.S. dollar, which we'll be uh, focusing on uh, first in this analysis. Then we'll go to the Euro dollar, Aussie, uh, U.S. yen, and the U.S. Canadian dollar. Um, at this point, the uh, the Great British Pound US dollar has found resist uh, support at the uh, 300 moving average or the 100 moving average. It has fallen from a high of the last two weeks. Uh, it has fallen 5.34% in only two weeks. That is a massive fall for this currency bear. We expected this to go higher, but uh, there are two reasons for this. Uh, the first being Brexit, which will tear the uh, UK economy apart, and also the sterling. Um, and that will drag on for years. So um, the negotiations between the, the, the British and the, the, um, the EU leadership or the negotiators uh, broke down, and uh, at this point, uh, the British are playing the hardball game again. That's basically saying that we'll leave uh, the EU, uh, the European Union, without a deal. Uh, best of luck to that. That is just that is just a bad idea. So. Um, we also have uh, appreciation in the US dollar index that is also putting pressure on this pair. So we are falling uh, uh, more than 5% and I would not be surprised if we have an um, uh, increase in the value to the 50 moving average and then we have a continuation of, um, of um, depreciation in this pair. We'll go to, uh, to uh, 1,200 and... 49, then we go to uh, 1,226, and uh, if we have a continuation of, uh, of a deterioration in the negotiations between the EU and the British, uh, then this pair will go much lower. Um, it will just be the more of the same. We saw this uh, several, several times. Every single time we have an increase in this, uh, the value of uh, this pair, uh, there is uh, some kind of bad story in the negotiation the brexit uh, in the brexit negotiation and then it just goes falls off a cliff uh technical indicators at the moment are horrible um probably we probably bottom off in stochastic at the moment that indicates they will will most likely go higher we won't go uh, higher than uh, 30 uh um one one point three before going down again. That is, yes, that is probably most likely what's going to happen. At the moment, uh, the, the MACD is um, extremely bearish. Uh, we are oversold and uh, we are in the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So at this moment, short time pullbacks are selling opportunities. Um, there is, it's just, it's just impossible to be bullish in this pair uh, when the Brexit negotiations have started again. It looked really promising here, but but uh, at this point, just stay away from this pair. It's, it, it's just ridiculous. Um, it, it will ruin your account. It has ruined many people's accounts because uh, it is so un unpredictable. You can, th you can basically get the notion here that we are in an uptrend and all of a sudden there's some kind of bad news from Boris Johnson or somebody and then it just goes bang. Um, if you look at the euro, US dollar, it is uh, much more stable. Uh, this is um, how the Great British Pound and the US dollar should have looked like. Um, very similar to the euro and them, but because of Brexit, well, yeah, it isn't. So we had this bullish flag, we had a, a tremendous um, boom to the upside. Now we're cre technically creating another uh, bullish flag. We're technically uh, just um, at this point trading sideways, 
we have a high of uh, 1.2 and we have a low of uh, 1.17 and we have the 50 moving average and the uh, 40 exponential moving average and at this point we'll probably just see more of the same we'll probably go up to the uh, 1.2 level and just go up and down and I don't expect this pair to go higher until we see a further depreciation of the US dollar. So at this point, the MACD is looking quite promising. We most likely will go and retest the 1200 level. Uh, we are about to go upward again. And if we cross the signal line, we'll go higher and probably do the 1200 level here. Uh, the RSI is completely flat and the stochastic is pointing uh, to go upwards, the upper method, and the Bollinger Band is basically in the middle. So, um, at this point, if we were to cross the signal line, if we were to cross the, if you have an indication of stochastic, then there is technically a buying signal. If we basically pull back from the 50 moving average, which, which, uh, which we had a massive increase in the value this was on Wednesday but we have a massive pullback again so this will probably look something like this we'll gradually go to the upside to 1200 and then we'll go back down again if we get back then we go to 1200 because this was significant uh, resistant so if you look at the Aussie dollar US dollar uh, we are just doing the same thing here we we basically pulled back to the 40 expansion moving average and that is support uh underneath we have the 50 moving average which probably is more support and uh, we'll probably just go gradually grind our way higher from here as we have done uh since um since uh, the end of march uh no there's no reason to short this market at the at the moment. It's just uh, every single time we have a pullback, that's a buying opportunity. Every game time we get close to the exponential, the forty exponential moving or the fifty, we just technically buy the dips. Um, the MACD is quite uh, negative. Uh, the same goes for the RSI and also for the stochastic. So we may see a. Uh, pull back to the uh, 40 expansion moving average or the 50 moving average before we go higher from here. So if the US dollar yen, we see that we are still in this box. We have been trading in this box for, for several weeks now and at the moment we are just in the middle of this box. And that's probably the worst place to be. Uh, we need to see this go down to this level here, which is around uh, 105 or to the top level of 107 before we basically can trade this pair. Um, and yes, the same goes for uh, if we look at the, the technical indicators, we are we just completely flat on the MACD. The RSI is pointed for more downwards in pressure. The same goes for the stochastic and the Bulger band is paid in the middle. So if you look at the stochastic and the RSI, we will put, this probably is an indication that will go lower from here, which, um, which um, probably wouldn't make any sense because of the appreciation of the of the appreciation of the US dollar index. So I would just stay away from this pair. There's no reason to trade this at the moment. Just wait until basically go down to the bottom here or the top in order to buy or sell. Um, if you have a breakthrough of this level of 105, then we'll go all the way down to 104. Uh, and that should be significant uh, resistant. Uh, if we were to break this level, we'll go to these lows of uh, 101. So, US dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, we did break this channel. Uh, the channel technically has been broken. The channel we have been uh, trading all the way back to the beginning of July has been broken last week. And at this point, um, 
uh, we could see uh, uh, appreciation in this pair. The MACD is um, uh, pointed to higher highs, and uh, the same goes for RSI, the same goes for stochastic, and uh, yes, the same also goes for the Bollinger Band. So at this point, we'll probably go to the 50 moving average. I would expect that to be uh, resistant. If we break the, the, the 50 moving average, we will go to uh, the 100 moving average, which is at 1.1344. Uh, 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 and yes, uh, so um, uh, yeah, it was quite irritating. I like trading channel channels because they're very predictable. Uh, but at some point, they have to break. If they break to the downside or the upside, um, yeah, they have to break. So at this moment, we just need confirmation where we are going. And the 50 moving average will probably be, be a very good uh, indicator of where this pair will go. So um, hope you find this uh, video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the sub uh, subscribe button and hitting the like button, the bell button, in order to see our newest videos. Uh, good luck, and uh, thank you very much.